As someone who grew up in the South, this is not a sound you should usually hear associated with making gravy. But today we are going to try out canned gravy. I know my Southern grandma would be is probably rolling over in her grave because I'm making gravy out of a can. Because usually is gra gravy is meat drippings, flour, and, and all of that. You know, I, I like to make my gravy from scratch. But sometimes I'm lazy and I, I really want some biscuits and gravy and I don't wanna, I don't wanna do much of anything. So I'm gonna give this a go. So I'm looking at the can and uh, it says to pour it into a microwave safe bowl, cover and microwave on high for one and a half minutes or until hot, stir before serving. Here we go. Oh, it's like cream of mushroom soup. It is thick. I don't know, maybe it will thin out as it microwaves. I don't know, I, I like a thicker gravy. I, I mean, I don't want it to be like, you know, cream of mushroom soup base, but I don't know, as it heats up, it may get a better, uh, a better texture and uh, consistency. So before I put it in the microwave, just a quick look here. Um, this is made by Libby's. It uh, looks like a, a quarter cup has 70 calories and two grams of protein. And then looking at the ingredients, it does include cooked sausage. Uh, so that is uh, real sausage and not mystery meat. And it does contain milk already. So for those who don't do dairy, um, this may not be what you're looking for. I usually don't do dairy myself. I'm usually more of a non-lactose guy, which is why I make my own gravy because I can use my soy milk. But I did do want to try this out. I will do small amounts of dairy. It doesn't make me too sick, but Try not to do too much of it, but I did want to try this out just to see if this is if this has a good flavor for the convenience of it being in a can. Okay, so into the microwave, and we'll do the minute and a half they suggested. There we go. Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't have covered it with a lid because it looks like that lid popped right off. All right. Here we have it. It has a very weird smell to it. As I fog up the camera, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on a biscuit and try it. Okay, we got our biscuit. Now we have our gravy. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. I don't know. So far, not very good. On its own, not very good. Let's see if we can change this, add something to it. I'm gonna hit it with a little garlic salt. And of course, any good gravy needs a lot of pepper, so let's hit it with some pepper. Okay, we'll try again. Uno mas. I mean, that made it a little better, but it still has a, I don't know, it has a weird flavor to it. I mean, it's, it's not awful. Like, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. But it's definitely, it definitely doesn't taste like a, a good flavorful homemade gravy. But again, it did come out of the can. Yeah, so even in a hurry, I would probably pass on this. Especially when you can get a packet of gravy. If you don't want to make homemade gravy, you can get a packet of it and just add your water or your milk or whatever, boil it and have, have it made in about five minutes. And uh, the packet gravy, like uh, Pioneer's, is actually pretty good. So. In the future, I probably would not opt for the canned gravy because I just, I don't really like the taste. It has a very odd taste to it. Even adding stuff to it, I feel like it still misses the mark. So the canned gravy is a no-go for me. I'm not going to buy it again. I've read some reviews online and some people like it, so you may want to try it. You may like it. But just for me, someone who eats a lot of biscuits and gravy, it's a big favorite meal of mine. I will, uh, I will pass on this one and probably not go for this again. So that's my thoughts on the Libby's Canned Country Gravy. Not really for me, you may like it, but it's a pass for me.